Here we go. Uh, in the CPS, on the zone page, is there a way of moving zone into a different order? Uh, okay, that's a good question. I've never personally tried this, uh, but I'm curious now, so let's find out. Okay, so we're going to open up our CPS here, make sure you folks can see it. There we go. So we've got the CPS open. Uh, we're going to go up here to these zones. So I have a lot of zones. Um, let's see, is there any way we can move these around? So it doesn't look like you can drag them. Now what if we take one and, and copy it? Okay, so we've copied that Skybridge zone. Let's go down here. Okay, so it looks like you can copy and paste. So if you want to reorder your zones, uh, probably be best to build them correctly in the first place, but you can copy and paste. So if you want to reorder them, uh, just copy one, move it, and then get rid of your original one. You may have to rename it because it's going to be a, a duplicate like that. But there you have it. And actually, John chimed in here. He said the N0GSG contact manager software works great for this. Um, I don't know if maybe you're talking about reordering zones. Uh, that would be interesting. So if, if you are, chime in, let us know what, you, what you're referring to. Um, because if it does, that would be great for everyone to know about. Here we go. Yeah, John chimed in again. Uh, yes, moving zones. Uh, so it looks like the N0GSG contact manager software. John's had experience with that working and being able to reorder your zone. So I uh, appreciate the information. That's good to know for folks. Uh, and then actually Ken chimed in with another idea that, that may work just as well for you. Um, if, if you export them to a CSV, uh, being able to reorder them in Excel. So there's another option for you, a couple options on how you could reorder those zones. Uh, if you have a lot of them, that could be handy.